Okay, we're back, and um, I'm Nathan Terry, by the way, and last time I just showed you that, um, you know, how to get the image size, and that was okay, and uh, I apologize for all the talking I did, oh well. At least I'm not, like, some some tutorials I, I, list, I watch are, like, really, like, they're, like, people are trying to be, like, the guy's, like, talking really quietly, and it bugs the heck out of me. And hopefully I bug you in a totally different way. Anyway, let's get to the secrets part here, okay? Um, so, I want to note that I would probably sharpen this thing, this ring thing, um, but I'm not going to now. So, here's our thing, our texture that we just transformed. Um, I'm not too, I don't get too crazy about, like, Obviously, if you transform an image and it gets like you'll, it'll look weird sometimes. Like if I transform this image, it would make him look really fat. If I made it, you know, go out to the side or something like that. But I'm not too concerned about that with textures. So, and that's also made our, you know, image or this layer be the right size for us. Okay, so now we're going to go into our blend modes, and as you can see, there is just a plethora of blend mode goodness. And the ones I use all the time, probably these three, okay, um, and multiply. These three and multiply, which is overlay, soft light, and hard light, and multiply. So, let's just take this texture and put it on soft light. Already we can see that we have an uh, interesting effect, and um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty neat already. Um, and as you can see, that it's taking some of this color right here from this, from this layer. I'm holding down Alt and clicking that. Um, from this layer, and we're kind of, you know, mixing it into here, which is great. Well, I mean, I wouldn't stop here, but, you know, I think that's Jim Dandy roof candy. And um, so here's what I, you could, you could even not go, you know, super far and just do Command M. Yes, yeah, so a curves adjustment layer. Actually, don't do a command M. Go down here and choose curves adjustment layer. And you could just choose curves just like this if you wanted to, okay? And maybe bring the brightness down. Okay, so that would that would compensate for how this is kind of washed out. It's kind of washed out. Some people like that, okay? Um, so that's just fine. Another thing we can do. Um, since this is affecting our color, um, sometimes we want it to be, you know, affecting the texture but not the actual color. Of course, we can see that this is making everything a lot warmer, which is part of the effect of being vintage, vintage e ish. Um, but if you don't want that, um, what I would probably do is, uh, I would probably, me, even though this is a destructive move, I would do um, something like Shift Command, I mean, Command Shift U, which totally desaturates this layer. Okay, so it makes it black and white. That's what, yeah, it just makes it black and white, and that's about it. Um, if you really wanted to go crazy on being non-destructive, you could come up here, grab a black and white adjustment layer, which rocks, by the way. Use black and white adjustment layers. And you can do, you can even change, this is actually interesting because you can even change how that texture is going to look. But, and then I would like do an alt, I would grab my, I would hold down alt and click in between them. And what that does is makes it so it's only affecting this layer only. Okay, if I didn't have that, if I, here I'll take that off. If I didn't have that, it would just do all of it. Okay, so it's constraining that, it's called a clipping mask. It's constraining it just to that layer. So that's actually kind of interesting. So now, remember how I made this black and white? It's only affecting the texture. So I can go in here and mess around with all these different um, black and white settings. Which actually is not, not, not a bad idea. I actually haven't done that much before. So that's actually, we're on a pretty good, pretty good, you know, you know we're doing we're doing okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna make this a group, um, just to get it out of my way. 
And uh, let's not mess with that though. So this one, um, so that looks pretty good, but here's the thing. It depends on what the texture is for me. It depends on um, how it is, but sometimes I will take our texture layer and apply a blend mode to my image, which is what I'm doing now. But other times I will take my image and apply a blend mode onto a normal blend, a normal texture with a blend mode of you know blah 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 blah. So I just made a copy of that doing Control J, of course. And um, I'm going to come up here and put it on top of this guy. As you can see, this is normal, normal uh, blend mode. This is on soft light. I'm going to put that to a normal. And this is the one we desaturated, um, by the way, just by doing Command Shift U. And um, we can set this. We can set, so now I'm clicking on the image and setting this mode to soft light. And a lot of times it doesn't have as much of an effect but every once in a while you'll get lucky about these things. And sometimes you can just duplicate it for more intensity. Okay, multiply. Multiply actually gave, it, gave us a pretty interesting effect here. Um, so this is how we experiment with all these textures and um, you, it's all a matter of being just layering these things and just going crazy with this stuff. Um, Remember how I said this is kind of washed out? Well, another thing I like to do is grab another one of these, Command uh, J or Control J, and I'm going to put this on top. Remember how we have this washed out? Don't 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 bother with these. I'm going to actually get rid of that, get rid of our adjust our uh, curves adjustment layer. But this one, of course, it's on normal now. But if I set this one to soft light, it intensifies it darkens it back up okay so these two now give us our effect which is kind of interesting um, so that kind of gave us more contrast and uh, all sorts of fun stuff like that I would maybe grab a black and white adjustment layer and take my opacity down which is actually kind of similar to what I actually did in this um, image here okay um, so Oh, I forgot to tell you. Um, I have some policies about using textures. That's why I meant to tell you at the very beginning. My policies about using textures are you can't put them on the face. Um, I guess that's the only policy there is. But you try to avoid putting textures. Like this one's not that bad because it's just kind of a grainy look. Try to avoid putting textures um, on people's faces or on their skin because it just looks bad and um, I mean just you know they look dirty and uh, especially for I know you know you see senior portraits and stuff like that and of course I mean that girl's been been uh, making sure that she doesn't have a blemish on her skin like for like a million years before you take the portrait and then you go into Photoshop and you put all this crazy texture stuff on it and it looks, you know, bad. Not you, I'm just saying people do. Okay? I, actually, I haven't, I'm not speaking about the forum or anything like that. I'm just talking in general. Okay? But, uh, ooh, that's interesting. So, I took that one and I put it on Multiply. That's very interesting to me also as well because it's really affecting this white right here that's kind of the nature of the multiply blend mode and um, so with this and uh, actually I'm not really considering his face anything I'm not gonna I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna let that have texture anyway but the fingers here the hand okay say I w didn't want the texture on this hand right well okay I'm gonna grab a layer mask, right? Right, why not? Um, the thing is, I can paint this back on here. Uh, I can go ahead and do that, and you can do that in some cases. And um, we talked about layer masking, so you know. Anyway, but we can also grab another copy of this, 
and uh, my timer is going off because I'm over 10 minutes, but you can grab another copy of this and then hold down Alt with our adjustment layer, I mean with our mask, and then do a, um, and then reveal parts that we don't want to be affected, which actually in this case we didn't need to do that, we could have just masked it out, but there's other times when you have um, a bunch of uh, a bunch of layers and stuff like that, and then uh, you have to put it back on there. So I'm probably going to do another one because this is too much fun. So bye.